Should you update from your iOS 13.5 Joe broken to iOS 14? Easy answer, no. They literally just copied and pasted a bunch of jailbreak tweaks to iOS 14. Apple just announced today the iOS 14 new features and I'm gonna go over reasons why you should not update to iOS 14 whenever they release it and you should stay in the jailbroken state on iOS 13.5. Most of the features that Apple released today are already on Cydia, but this is nothing new and it happens every year. Apple always copies Cydia jailbreak tweaks. So let's go over some of the features that Apple copied from jailbreak again. So the first one is the new home screen with an app library and you can do the same thing they're doing on iOS 14 with the tweak named Vesta. It's literally the same thing. The second main feature that they released today was the new widgets on today's view and home screen. And you can do that with Velox and also Home Plus Pro, which actually lets you customize your home screen a lot more. The third feature is compact Siri interface, and that's been on jailbreak for a while. And you can do that with small Siri, better Siri, and Siri Lite, there's three tweaks that let you um, change your Siri to make it look more compact. The fourth feature is a new call interface and that's also been on Cydia for a while and there's a lot of jailbreak tweaks that do that. My favorite one is Scorpion, but there's also Car Bar and an upcoming one that I'm really looking forward to called Triton and it seems like it's gonna be even better than iOS 14 actually. Feature number five that they released is picture in picture, but you can do that with Titan and Force PIP. I don't know why you would upgrade to iOS 14. The sixth feature is pick your own default email and browser apps, and you can do that with Evil Scheme, Maps Opener, and Browser Default. And then the seventh one is animations that you can do with Pencil Charging Indicator, which is another tweak that copies the animation from iOS 14 when you plug in your phone to charge. I saw it while I was watching the presentation that they had it just like they have on iPad OS, but now they brought it to iOS 14, but you can already do that with Pencil Charging Indicator. Now, there are some features that are not on Cydia, and I'm gonna talk about them right now and why they really don't matter. The first one is the update that they made for the Maps app, and let's be honest, who uses the Maps app? Most people use Google Maps, and they even talked about Google Maps on the presentation, like it's their competitor, so they even know that people use Google Maps. So what they added was, a, was like a feature for bicycling. If you bike a lot, then maybe that would be good for you but if you don't bike that much, then I don't see why. The second feature is new sleep app. Within the health app, they're gonna add this sleep app and it just tracks your sleep and all that stuff, but you need an Apple Watch. So if you don't have an Apple Watch, you can use that feature. So might as well just download Sleep Tracker on the App Store and start using that, it's free. And you don't need an Apple Watch. The third feature is a new home app with more, more functionalities that work with like your camera and your lights, but you need to have lights that are connected to your phone and you need to have a camera that is connected to your phone and you need to have a HomePod. So if you don't have any of those things, there's no reason to update. The fourth feature is App Clips that lets you use mini apps on the spot. This is actually a cool feature and once that's going everywhere in the world um, it's actually gonna be really cool to use that it uses the NFC technology for you to get data just like a QR code but you can just tap on it and it just opens an app that is less than 10 megabytes so download it really quick and you can just open the app right away it's actually gonna be really useful but it's only gonna be available in like Los Angeles and San Francisco and a couple of places at the beginning there's not gonna be a lot of businesses getting it right away so I think it's gonna take at least six to um, maybe a year for it to be at your state or your city or wherever you are, you know? So there's really no reason to update right away to, 14, to iOS 14 just because of App Clips because it's not even gonna be available right away. The next feature is the new Messages app features and I actually like that a lot. They copied a lot of the features from WhatsApp, like responding to a specific thread or anything like that, or creating groups and changing the images on the group. I don't know why they didn't have that on iOS 13. They should have. And unfortunately, you can't do anything about that on the jailbreak because it's a native app from iOS 14 that it's talking to other people and stuff. So you would need iOS 14 to use the messages app feature, but that's the only one from my list that I found that you're actually gonna have to download iOS 14. 
14 to get. So the next one is the translation app and we already have Google Translate, it works just fine. So I don't see the need to get another app for that. The seventh one is Apple CarPlay and digital car keys, but you basically need a BMW for you to use this. So I don't see anyone updating to iOS 14 just because of that. The eighth feature is AirPods will sound better. And that is cool, but you do need an AirPod that costs $250 for, to use this feature. So I really don't see people upgrading to iOS 14 unless you have all these things that I mentioned. You're a biker, you have an Apple Watch, you have a HomePod, you have a BMW, and you have $250 AirPods. I think that the right time to upgrade to iOS 14 is when they release the jailbreak to iOS 14. But when they release iOS 14, I don't think it's a time to upgrade. If you're on iOS 13.5 with jailbreak, stay there. There's a lot of tweaks that do much, much more than iOS 14 will do. You can basically have iOS 14 on your iOS 13.5 jailbroken device right now with all the tweaks I mentioned before. And if you wanna see more jailbreak tweaks to make your iOS 13 look like an iOS 4, to make your iOS 13.5 look like an iOS 14, click over here or click over here to watch more jailbreak tweaks videos. But what I'm really excited about is the macOS Big Sur. I think they did a great job with the macOS system. So if you wanna see a video about the macOS Big Sur, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and bye.